Welcome to a video taking a look at interior and exterior angles of regular polygons. Before we start with anything else, let's first of all define what we mean by some terms. So first of all, let's define what we mean by regular polygon. So a regular polygon is simply a polygon, so a polygon is simply a shape with straight sides, where all sides are equal and all angles are equal. So we can think of this like an equilateral triangle would be a regular polygon or a square would be a regular polygon because all of the sides and all of the angles are equal. Um, now interior angle, an interior angle is simply the angle on the inside of a shape. So on this diagram here let's just label what we mean by an interior angle. So this angle here for example, that there will be an interior angle. So it's just an angle on the inside of a shape. Then an exterior angle, <coughs> an exterior angle is an angle on the outside of a shape created by extending a side. Now this is the part where most people get go wrong. People assume that the exterior angle, let's use a different colour here, that the exterior angle just means the angle all the way around. That's not quite right. It has to be the angle that is created on the outside of a shape by extending a straight line. So as you can see here, I've got this side here. If I was to continue that straight line, if I was to continue that straight line, the exterior angle is the angle that is created underneath it. So we can say that that there is my exterior angle. So the interior angle, nice and straightforward, the angle on the inside. The exterior angle, slightly trickier to define. It's the angle on the outside of a shape created by extending a side. So it is that angle there. So if we were to do that on, say, this one down here, the exterior angle would be created by extending that line onwards. And the exterior angle is created. And the exterior angle is just there. Okay. Now, when dealing with interior and exterior angles, there are two key facts that we need to bear in mind. The first is that the sum of the exterior angles is equal to 360 degrees. So what we mean by that is simply that all of the exterior angles added together will always add up to 360. So no matter what polygon we have got, all of those exterior angles added together will sum, will add up to 360 degrees. The second one, and we should be fairly familiar with this, is that the angles on a straight line are equal to 180 degrees. Now with these two facts combined, we can answer lots of different questions about the sizes of interior and exterior angles on the interior and exterior angles on lots of different regular polygons. So here I've got a regular hexagon. Question A is asking me to find the size of the exterior angle. So let's label this up. My exterior angle, that's created by extending the line onwards. So here is my exterior angle. And then I've got my interior angle on the inside. Now, <clears throat> because I know that this is a regular hexagon, what I can say is that all of the angles here are exactly the same size. So all of my exterior angles are going to be equal, and there is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So to find out the size of one of the exterior angles, what I could do is say, well, if they all add up to 360, they're all the same size and there are six of them, I could do 360 divided by 6. So 360 divided by 6 will give me the size of just one of those exterior angles. So that's going to give me an answer of 60 degrees. 
So each of those exterior angles on my regular hexagon are going to be 60 degrees each. 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, and 60. Part B asks us to find the size of each interior angle. Now, we've used this fact here to work out the exterior angle. Now we can use this fact that the angles on a straight line equals 180 degrees to work out the interior angle. Notice that the exterior and the interior angle are on a straight line together. So, that means that we could say that this interior angle must be 180 degrees subtract the exterior angle. Those two together added would make 180. So 180 subtract the exterior angle is going to give me the interior angle. And that's 120 degrees. So what we could also say really is that the interior angle plus the exterior angle sum to 180 degrees. Then the last question, question C, asks us what is the sum of the interior angles? Now this question is just asking us what do all of the interior angles added together make? Well if we know that one of the angles is 120, how many of these interior angles have we got? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's going to be 120 multiplied by 6. 120 multiplied by 6 is going to give us 720 degrees. Okay, so these are three of the basic questions that we might get asked about uh, interior and exterior angles. What I suggest you do is pause the video and see if you can answer this question using the same techniques that we just talked about. So pause the video, have a go yourself, then press play and see if you got it right. Right, now you've had a chance to have a go at it, let's go through the solution to this question. So question A asks us to find the size of the exterior angle on the regular pentagon. So the first thing that we're going to do is take a look at this key fact up here. The sum of the exterior angles is 360. So because we, have, we know that and we know that there are five exterior angles which are all the same size, we can say that each of them is going to be 360 divided by 5, which gives us an answer of 72 degrees. Part B says to find the size of the interior angle. Now because we know that the interior angle and the exterior angle will be on the same straight line together, we can say that 180 subtract the exterior angle is going to give me the interior angle. And so I can do 180 minus 72 which gives me 108 degrees. Again, just using this fact here and the fact that interior angle and the exterior angle are on the same straight line together. Lastly, what is the sum of the interior angles? At this point we know that there are five interior angles, each of them is 108 degrees, so I can do 108 multiplied by the number of interior angles, 5, and that's going to give us 540 degrees. And that will be our final answer.